Hello, I'm David Valdez, and today I want to talk to you about solving two by two linear systems by substitution. So let me begin just by giving you the big idea. Big idea. And the big idea is the following. What is substitution? Substitution is simply to uh, replace something with equal value, let's say. So let me put that down. Substitution. in essence is to replace something with another thing of equal value. With another thing of equal value. So that's kind of the general uh, obvious idea of substitution in life. Um, in math, what does it refer to? Why would we replace some, uh, something with something else of equal value? Um, I suggest a few things. One, to solve a problem. To solve a math problem. Let's say to solve a problem. Da -ba -ba. Um, to model a situation mathematically, to model a situation. A lot of uh, formulas can come around due to some sort of substitution and trying to reframe a problem and model it in a certain way. And in general, to gain insight. into a mathematical problem or a situation. So that's kind of the big idea. Let me just illustrate one example of substitution, um, just with um, sort of generic symbols. Suppose I, suppose I had, excuse me, um, square is equal to a heart plus a triangle. And, um, I don't know, a triangle minus the square is equal to 5. Okay. Now this doesn't really mean anything, but I just want to point out the idea of substitution. One thing I could do to substitute something with something else of equal value, notice that the square is equal to the heart plus the triangle, which means in the other equation right below it, I can replace the square with something of equal value. I can substitute this right there, where I see the square. And if I were to do that, then this second equation becomes triangle minus, I'll put a set of parentheses, heart plus triangle equals five. So notice the substitution that I did there. I'm not gonna continue with this. This isn't a real problem. All I wanted to do was illustrate um, how we can perform substitution mathematically. In the next few videos, I'm going to show you uh, various examples and give you a procedure for applying substitution to solving systems of equations.